Welcome to another episode of Mexican in the Kitchen. This week I'm still outside, so I'm going to prepare this discada, very traditional dish. Everyone has a different recipe, so just add or remove any ingredient you want. But this is the base you can start with, and then we can do some other stuff. Discada is from the north of Mexico, and it was traditionally made on a disc harrow plow, so that's where the name comes from. Nowadays you can make it in a wok, on a disc, you can even make it in a large pan on the stove, it's up to you. You will usually start with some oil, just to prepare your disc completely, cover it with the oil, make it ready, make sure the temperature is right. But we were in the cabin and we were out of oil, so I used a bit of butter, of course it consumed completely, but it made the temperature go to the right spot where I could throw my bacon and start cooking it. For this I used one package of bacon, nicely chopped, it's probably around 150-200 grams. I'm starting with 800 grams or a kilo of pork loin. I chopped it into cubes and I'm starting with this because it's the meat that will take the longer to cook. That's why we want it to be in there for longer. We have to keep things moving, making sure all the meat is getting cooked evenly. We want to make sure that we're giving enough time to each ingredient to cook nicely. Since pork meat is the meat that will take the longest to cook, then we will leave it there for a while. We'll make sure it looks cooked from the outside at least and then it will continue cooking while we throw the rest of our ingredients in. As you can see, my pork meat is quite ready. It's starting to get these brown charred pieces. So at this point, I'm going to make a hole in between of the meat and then I'm going to add to the center my beef. I'm using around 500, 600 grams of flank steak. But as I said, you can use whatever ingredients you want. You can add and remove things. At the end, it's up to you which combination of meats and vegetables you use. As you know, beef will cook way faster. So make sure you are still moving everything. Make sure you don't burn your meat. Once my beef has started to get some color, I'm going to add some vegetables already. And I'm going to start with my paprika, because that's the one that takes the longest to cook. I'm using orange and red pepper, because I think those are the ones that give the most flavor. But of course, if you like green pepper or you want to use green pepper, go ahead. It also gives a really, really nice flavor. At this point, I also added a package of sausages. It's about 300-400 grams. It doesn't really matter which kind of sausage you use. Just try to use one that has a lot of flavor. In this case, I used one that has some chorizo flavor. Right now, the smell is amazing. Everything looks delicious. Even this guy couldn't help himself and have to take a video. Once the paprika start to soften up, the sausages are cooked already. I'm going to add one large onion and one chopped tomato. My seasoning will be very simple. I'm going to add some salt and some black pepper. I still think this is one of the best dishes you can make if you're out on the woods, just enjoying the open fire, enjoying being on the forest next to a lake, enjoying the nature, having a couple beers with friends, maybe some salmon later. It's just like a really, really nice thing to make for a perfect weekend. Just look at this guy enjoying the nature. Once all of the ingredients are cooked, I'm going to add a whole can of beer. What kind of beer you use is of course up to you, but just any basic beer will do. Now that we added the beer, of course the temperature dropped. You will notice that the cooking will slow down a bit and it will allow all these flavors to come out. The beer will give a really, really nice flavor and we can just leave everything here for a while, make sure we move it from time to time. We don't want anything to get stuck. We don't want anything to get burned. Right now, all we have to do is just keep moving everything and wait until the beer is almost completely consumed. Some people would boil some potatoes and add them here, but at this point we don't have any more space. So what I'm going to do is take the meat out right before the beer is consumed completely, and then I will cook the potatoes in that juice to give them some more flavor. After adding the beer, this has been cooking for about 10-15 minutes. Right now you can tell the beer and the meat juices have completely mixed. It's a bit of a thick sauce. It's perfectly ready to be eaten. We're going to put it in a pot just to take it inside. Usually you would eat this around the fire, just warm up some tortillas. While we're doing that, I'll just throw this tortilla. Because usually you would eat this by standing or sitting around the fire, just taking the meat straight from the disc. So I definitely have to try it. Once your tortilla is ready, just take it on your hand, take some of that meat straight from the disc, put it in there, take some of that juice, you will notice the tortilla starts to soak on those juices, it's delicious. Once we sit by the table, we can top this with some avocado, with some hot sauce, maybe some lime juice, but this right here is definitely perfect. Now we have some beer and meat juices left on the disc, so we're going to throw our potatoes. The guys were boiling these potatoes with some salt, as you would usually do. So at this point, all you have to do is move the potatoes around, make sure they get some of that juice on them. 
they will start to get a nice crispy texture on the outside and that's all we want. This is just to give some extra flavor. Once they're done, we'll take them out, we'll put them with our meat and we will enjoy these with some wheat tortillas. As I said, this is personal preference, so just keep moving your potatoes and take them out whenever you feel the texture is perfect for you. For us, this will be ready soon, so if you got all the way here, let me know what's your favorite dish when you are on a cabin, what's your, the favorite thing you cook on a campfire. I hope you liked the video, press like, subscribe, activate the bell, all those kind of things, and see you next one.